we are just overjoyed. What a little special treat we got today. Friend of the program, John Kondo in the house. And, and Kondo, we were talking about it, man. This is a little bit different than the Oakland days that you had when you were wearing the silver and black. Yeah, uh, I mean, just coming into headquarters here, it is night and day to 1220 Harbor Bay Parkway. Um, just walking in, just pulling in actually to, to the facility with a gate that actually kind of works. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it is quite remarkable, and I'm still touring it, and it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, know? the fact that you're at a break in the tour, I mean, 1220 was quite small. I mean, it was, it was great for our purposes, right? Like, I still have, like, super fond memories of 1220, but, like, to your point, man, this is night and day compared to what we had in Alameda. Yeah, I mean, you guys, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy for you guys. Uh, everyone here in the facility that, that was with, with Oakland at the time that, that made the move here, I mean, this is unbelievable. You guys deserve everything that you have, have all these new toys and gadgets, and, and you, you, you look you look real now. Yes, yes. And the toys <laughs> are fun. I yeah, have to say, yeah. the toys are very fun. The fact that we're kind of in this crazy, completely decked out, camera-connected studio is, is a lot of fun. But I was thinking about it when we found out you were coming in where – you know, we're kind of in this era of, of Raiders football now, the glitz and glam of Las Vegas, and obviously we've gone legit in a whole bunch of ways. But you were there for so long that you saw so many different eras of Raiders football too, right? Where you had the Al the Al era, you had, you know, kind of Reggie coming in, you kind of had the, the years of, of not turmoil, but a lot going on, and then you ultimately end up going back to the playoffs in 2016. I mean, dude, you, you've seen it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it, it, you know, when I first got to the Raiders, I – didn't really know what to expect. I grew up in Pennsylvania. I grew up a Steeler fan. So I, all I remember was, you know, my parents or, you know, all the Steeler fans just hating the Raiders. But when I got out there, you know, I walked into the building and uh, I didn't really know what to expect. So I thought the facilities, everything was just, hey, this is just normal. This is normal. But uh, seeing it all, the, the amount of people that I've made, I don't know if I'd change a thing because I've met so many people, uh, built so many relationships. Obviously, I would have loved to won a lot more. But the amount of people I've met, even even today, I just spent just an hour with, with Bobby and ah. Scotty, just just reminiscing and, and talking, asking about how the kids are and the facility, everything. So it's it's, it's moments like that and, and the relationships that you've built, and uh, not only not, not only with the people in the building, but just the fan base as well. The the people that you you win with, that you lose with, you know, you you cheer with, you cry with, like that. That's what it's all about, and and, and that's what I'm you know. That's what I'm really proud of. And, and speaking of Bob, though, man, how cool is that he has that palace downstairs now, man? I mean, I imagine even in Bobby's wildest dreams, it, it never he never thought it was going to look like that, you no. know? Yeah, and he was telling me, he goes, yeah, so Scotty and I, we did this whole side of the building and just walking in through it. Uh, like, if you would know, if, if, if you could walk through, like, the old equipment room mm-hmm. to what they have now and even the training room, yeah. I mean, it is, I don't know how much more of a transformation you can have going from one facility to another than that. It is, like, when you say night and day, it is complete night and day. I mean, shoot, if, if you had these all of this when you were playing, you'd still be snapping the ball, man. Oh, we could yeah. actually, I mean, you got another 10, 15 no, years in you. Yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. But, uh, no, yeah, this is, you know, I'm, I'm definitely envious of, of the current players, but, you know, they deserve it. You know, it's it's they, they put their bodies out on the line, and they, 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 they go out and they make plays, and they sacrifice, you know, a lot. You know, just to, to to be treated and to have a facility like this, they deserve it. So. Yeah, a hundred percent. Very well said. And it's one of those deals where, like you said, the, these guys all lay it on the line every Sunday. And I mean, you know how much the off season, of, you know how much of a grind the off season is too. And it doesn't stop there. And it's it's a three hundred and sixty five day a year mm-hmm. job and responsibility. And to be able to come to a place like this and go to work in a place like this, I imagine as a player, it's got to feel really, really good. Yeah, uh, I mean, just walking into a building that looks like this, it is. You know, it make me want to come to work. Every day and 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 just being having the facilities having you know being able to take care of your body to to work out to even have like a, a training table or uh the 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 kitchen that you guys have here it's 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 remarkable yeah it's a lot of fun and, and i gotta i do have to pick your mind on on some of our special team stuff because as our resident special teams guy having a chance to to kind of have you here we got to do it but i mean over the past couple of years i say really over like the past two there's been so many parallels drawn between our current group of specialists, so Trent Sieg, Carlson, and A.J. Cole, and then the Leckler, Kondo, Seabass, Triumvirate, right? And I, I don't want to make you play apples to oranges or anything like that, but when you think about the run that you guys had, and throwing Marquette in there, too, towards the end, I mean, what are do you see any like similar characteristics between the three slash four you guys and then kind of what we have here now? 
I mean, there, there's obviously characters or similarities. You know, where, you know, you have a punter, snapper, and kicker. Um, I don't know them really on a personal mm-hmm. level, so it's hard to, to compare that way. But you could tell what they're, the product that they're putting out on the field. You could see the similarities. You could see the the closeness that they have, the trust that they have with one another. If they did not have that, you wouldn't see the, the results that they were having, especially last year and the last couple of years. You know. So watching them, obviously, you know, I, I think about the times I've had, you know, with with my my teammates and my 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 compadres, as you could say, and um, makes makes you think about the, all the good times you have on the field and not the field. And but yeah, you, you you see them out there. They're they're you could tell that they're working hard and and they're with each other. They, mm-hmm. they trust they trust each other, and that's the biggest thing. Being a specialist, you know, you got to trust. You know, with Trent snapping the ball out there to do. To AJ and and then they don't or I don't know do you call yeah. Carlson yeah kick, glad, kicking yeah. it through like I mean it, it's all it's it's not one part it's all three and they all have to be running together. How I mean looking back now in hindsight being twenty twenty like how easy or how hard was it for you to build that kind of relationship with with Bass? Um, you know when I first got here you you hear all the stories about Sebastian and um, and it I was kind of scared. You could you could say like when I first met him because I didn't. He's really a big know. dude was, too, man. He's, he's I mean, a big he's dude, a big guy. But, but you just I didn't want to approach him the wrong way, and and you know his English wasn't you know sure. you know and and like I just didn't want there to be anything lost in translation and and whatnot. But uh, I think when I first came out here, we the more I talked to him and 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 Leck as well, they made me feel real comfortable. It wasn't it wasn't all snapping. It wasn't all football. It was like. Hey, let's go. Let's go get a drink, or let's let's go get something to eat, or let's go play some cards. Or it was always like yeah. something like that. The more they did that, they did that right away too. The more they did that, it just made me feel extremely more, extremely more comfortable with them. And I think that resulted in me being more comfortable with them. It shifted onto the field, and it made me less anxious and less, you know, uh, it made me feel I, I didn't have to perform, you know, and and. In, in reality, it actually made me perform better. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, you didn't have a lot of bad days for yeah. in silver and black. I mean, maybe a handful over the course of what? Was it 10 years that you were a Raider? Uh, yeah, the le- uh, 11 seasons. 11? Practice squad one year. Golly, yeah. golly. Is it cool now? I imagine, though, you got kids now, and you're, you know, you're kind of in that chapter of, of the book, but you know, you see all these incredible highlights, especially of Bass and of Leckler, and I feel like the, you know, the Bass and the Snow one we see you mm-hmm. know, three or four times a year. Is it cool to be like, Hey, that's that's me. Yep, that's yep. me. I know that's, you guys don't believe it, but that's me. That's, that's my butt. That's yeah. my butt. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's you know any time that there's a rare game on the TV, um, or any time my kids see the shield, yeah, it's like it's Daddy's team. Yeah. And they ask me, "Are you playing this week? Are you playing this week?" I'm like, <laughs> "No, unfortunately, I'm not." You know, but uh, no, it's it's it is it's quite a trip, you know, to to have kids. And, and and I have like a little room that I have all my member, memorabilia up and to see them now it's just like kind of normal for them but anytime they have friends and oh, sure. they, they, they 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 like to show me off what's the uh, what's the coolest thing in the condo man cave you only get one. Oh man uh, yeah only one it might be a, a, a painting actually not even a sports memorabilia it's a painting done by Ronnie Wood uh, one of the oh nice for, oh, for, for the Rolling Stones that he did it was a big print it's a pretty cool I think, I think the piece is called conversation piece and it's uh, it's probably about the size of this window here but it just has color and everything in my room is a lot of black sure. and silver and that color just makes it pop and uh, but yeah that's probably. That's a good one, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if there's a lot of people. I mean, that that's can, the one that really sticks yeah, out. I, mean, I don't know if there's have, a lot of people that can flex and be like, "Oh yeah, I have a Ron Wood original painting." Yeah, yeah, in yeah. The, uh, in the house. I mean, I have some great, great jerseys up. You know, C. Wood. You know, Freddie B. Willie Brown. All, all those guys. Um, Jim Otto. Like, I have a lot of jerseys up, but it's. I don't know. Those are all my friends. It's yeah. Like, not yeah. friends, but it's you know yeah, they're peers. Pe- pe- yeah. People who I've I've walked around with that are normal to me. Um, but yeah, I'd say probably just a Ronnie Wood piece. That's, I mean, that's a pretty good yeah, one. That's yeah. not a bad one. Because I have, uh, there's probably 150, 200 little, yeah, little pictures, yeah. jerseys, footballs, helmets, baseball bats. I, I got a lot of stuff. So that's pretty sweet. And you know, it's, it all comes back to, and I've talked to everyone about this. Like, you know, as much as it's about winning and losing on Sunday, like this, at the end of the day, is a relationship business, yeah, yeah, right? Like, yeah. this is, you know, the fact that. Gosh, it makes me feel old that you've been out of the game for as long as you have, and mm-hmm. you get to come back and, and do all this. And me and Marcus and all the guys are still here, and Bob and Will kiss downstairs. Yeah. But it, it really is like a relationship 
building business and and the fact that you know get to have, we get to have these conversations and look back is a lot of fun and and I think that one of the relationships that we talk about a lot and we talked about earlier was you and Leckler and Bass and you and Bass still see each other which I think is pretty awesome too yeah yeah he he was just out visiting uh, made a cross country trip with his kids after school uh, in May and came out and he was in the Phoenix area where I'm living at now and he came out for three four days and we got to hang out didn't play any golf it was all family family oriented and went swimming, had dinner together, you know, just barbecues and stuff. So it was really ni- a nice trip to to, to hang out. Have, uh, have well, Condo and Bass gone, gone fully suburban now? Or not, are we not out until 4 in the morning, play, mm-hmm. you know, reading the the playbook by the jukebox and all that? Hey, listen, when my kids go down, <laughs> when my kids go down, I'm I'm not far from, from going down with them. Half the times, half the times, you know, I have two, my two orders are daughters, and uh, they still want me in bed with them to put them down and – my wife sometimes yells at me and say I'm, 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 you know, creating a bad habit with that. But I'm like, hey, if they let me sleep in bed with them until they're teenagers, I will because yeah. I, I want to be the only guy <laughs> sleeping in bed with them. So, um, but, yeah, like I, I'll fall asleep in bed with them. Like, I, I put them down at 7, 730, read them a book, and I lay down and it's like lights out. And half the times I fall asleep for 30 minutes or so, and then it's like, screws up my whole night. Hey, no shame in that game, though, man. No shame in that game. But before we let you go, because I know we're up against a little bit, you know, your kind of next chapter that you're doing right now, I think is really cool. So you've, you're now in the real estate business in Arizona. Fantastic timing, by the way, too. My goodness. But I imagine that's got to be so much fun, so different than what you were doing, obviously, as a football player. But I imagine a few similarities here and there. Yeah. No, so I'm 40 years old. I say this is my first job, and I'm 40 years old. Uh... Yeah, it's it's I've I've been not doing real estate now for about 15, 16 months, and I'm loving it. I mean, this market is is uh, uh, like kind of nuts. It's starting to slow a little bit, but I found the competitiveness that I've I've lost in in football, and I'm using that at basically as motivation and, and and getting up every day, and it just keeps me busy. And it's it's you know I'm a family man first. I love being with my kids. I wake up, give them breakfast, and and take them to school. Well, my wife takes them to school, but I pack their lunches. I, I I do as much as I can being a father to them in the morning. Then when they leave, it's like it's all business. You know, I I joined a country club. I I don't even golf because it's like I'm such a committed person. And if I want to do this, I'm going to be 100 percent in. I'm not going to do 50 percent real estate and then go play golf for half the day. No, it's not. It's just not how I work. Um, And and I've had a lot of fun doing it. I've had success and and I'm really enjoying it. That's awesome, man. And it's like I said, it's so cool to like not only have you back here in the building to see kind of all the bells and whistles that we're fortunate to have now, but to hear about everything that you got going on. And and like I said, it's just it makes me feel old now. Right. Oh, because yeah. when, I mean, when you first got here, I was like a kid fresh out of college. Right. Yeah. I'm married now. I'm, I'm the I, boring old man. Like, yeah. dude, it's it's crazy how it does. It does. It happens to the best, of us. It it happens happens to the best of us. I know, man. It's wild. But it's been yeah. so good to see you. I, yeah. I'm like I said, Marcus and I were so stoked when we found out you were coming in and uh, we'll have to get you back here soon. All right. Yeah, that'd be great, man. Appreciate it.